uh, we, I would like to uh, remind you some things. So traditionally in Theravada Buddhism, when we preach the Dhamma to the audience, audience means here the like devotee, like followers who wish to know more about the Buddhism. So we, I mean, in Buddhist tradition, especially Theravada tradition, we advise some things that is sunat, dharat, charat in Pali terms. So in, in simple, it is like, listen Dhamma carefully. That means whatever I'm going to say, whatever the Dhamma speaker is going to say, try to listen them carefully and keep in mind and live accordingly. Now, it is very difficult for us to uh, listen things carefully or listen mindfully because sometimes though your physical body is there, but sometimes minds go around. So try your best to be in the present moment or be with the discussion or be with the Dhamma talk and see how much uh, things that you can grasp. So to listen, you have to bring your mind and body in the same place. It's difficult. What is the Dhammapada? It says, Duram Gamang Eka Charang Asarirang Guha Sayang. It means minds go far, mind does not have any place to locate it. It's travel everywhere. And But try your best to listen these things and listen and try to keep in mind. So in order to keep in mind, you must be mindful what you are listening. Then after that, that means listening and keeping in mind is not enough. So you should not stop there. We have to go beyond that. That is, live according, live accordingly. So personally, I always try to bring one example, a metaphor to see these things, like see them as a mirror, like knowing low, unknowingly, so many defilements or so wrongs that we have done mentally and verbally or physically. But uh, try to see what are the mistakes that we have done intentionally or unintentionally in front of the mirror, the mirror of Dhamma. So you will find what are the mistakes. So once you find what are the mistakes or what are the some of the things that make you disappoint that you have done in the previous. So if you know that, okay, knowingly or unknowingly, I have done something wrong in the previous, but I realize now those are the wrong. So this is the moment to make correct those things. So the moment you understand the mistake that you have or we have done or made in the previous is the moment that to go ahead with right intention not to make such mistake once again. So that is called actually listening Dhamma, keeping in mind and live accordingly. In the same